How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Recently, I made several videos about living from presence. If you haven't checked them out, I'll put the links in the description box below. In the first video, I talked about the importance of grounding our attention in the raw sensation of the body. In the second and third video, I talked about the next steps of learning to relax the entire body further to get our energies flowing more freely. Today, we'll talk about increasing our ability of working with our sensitive energies, of getting more acquainted with recognizing sensation for what it truly is. With learning to relax the body, the emotions, and thoughts, we are laying the foundation for our journey into our inner space. Our ability to perceive what's going on inside us becomes more acute and vivid. When our body is no longer wasting its vital energy on unnecessary tension and strains, the energy that keeps us in relationship with our bodies is naturally accumulated. Most people never advance on their self-development path because they simply don't have the energy because our already low supply is wasted through various unconscious leaks that we have developed throughout the years, like negative emotions and bodily tensions. If we were video game characters, at the end of our day, our power bar would always be in the red. We would be running on empty. We just don't have the resources to pursue more lofty spiritual goals. Through our practice of deliberate sensing, we learn to come into contact and become grounded in our bodies through this sensitive energy. To develop your ability for sensing, just find a quiet place where you can sit undisturbed. Sit in a chair with your spine nice and straight and with your hands palm down on your knees or thighs, whatever is more comfortable for you. You can close your eyes as well if that helps you to focus and relax. Now, just bring all your attention to one of your hands. It's like you're trying to be aware directly from within your hand, like you're trying to sense the energy within your cells and tissues. Now, just keep your attention there. And if you wander off, just gently bring back your attention to the raw sensation of directly perceiving your hand. As you hold your attention, you will start to notice your hand feels more enlivened. You may feel more vivid sensations and a gentle tingling with the increased blood flow. This is your feedback to let you know that you are collecting more sensitive energy there. To help you learn how to develop the inner taste and recognition of this energy, after some time, just notice how the other hand feels, which you have not placed your directed attention on. This contrast should help you establish the perceivable difference in energies. Once you have sufficiently energized a part, learn to work your way through all of your other body parts in order to wake them up and accumulate the energy and then work on increasing and maintaining your awareness of these sensitive energies. Go through all your major parts thoroughly. You can start with your hands and feet, and then after some practice and familiarity, include the entire limbs until you can finally encompass your entire body. Our practice of just placing and holding our attention in a specific body part is what produces the sensitive energy. When you become acquainted with the qualities of your attention, you will see that consciously directed attention is imbued with a very high energy. This high energy combines with the lower automatic energies already present in our body. These lower automatic energies are responsible for all the unconscious processes that happen within our body. When the higher and lower combine, new qualities emerge in our being and in our ability to perceive. Sensing is crucial on our self-development or spiritual path as the sensitive energies are the primary substance from which we create 
our energetic body, which serves as the foundation for creating our higher spiritual bodies. Through our practice, we begin to organize and create this sensitive body, which helps us to stabilize our presence as it acts as a constant reminding factor. Let's define what a body is. A body is simply an organized whole of parts. Our physical body is just cells getting together to form tissues. Parts that get together, and when they come together, their relationship creates something new, which they could not do on their own. Much in the same way, our self-development work is one where, through our self-knowledge and work on our being, creates new bodies of organized energies and intelligence. Our concentrated effort of working with our sensitive energies creates our energy body, which for most people is totally dispersed and badly organized. When you have a dream, you don't experience the dream through your physical body, but through your energy body. If you know how to have lucid dreams regularly, you have a stronger energy body than most, but most people can't even remember their dreams. The practical side of developing our power to sense and to accumulate the sensitive energies throughout our entire body are very practical because it is an effective means by which to train our attention and our will. Our bodies are like factories for transforming energies. The problem is most people's factories are run very poorly and only utilize inferior fuel and accumulate a lot of unnecessary waste. When our factories are running smoothly and they are under good management, they are able to accomplish their job of creating something new, of transforming a base substance into something of higher value. This is real alchemy. Once your body has become very sensitized, it will act as a reminding factor for staying present to your life. Your body is always in the now, so sensation can be the anchor of your attention and awareness of the here and now. Also, since your sensation has increased and is flowing and waking up your entire body, your experience of life will be much more enjoyable because of the increased vividness. Simply, you feel more alive, and that's because you are. Most people should be shocked at how previously unaware they were of their bodies at the visceral level. Most people should come to realize that they have a very weak and superficial awareness of their bodies just after doing a little practice. For the coming weeks, continue practicing everything you have been learning about relaxing your body and incorporate deep sensing. In your spare time, really familiarize yourself with perceiving and building up the sensitive energies through the deliberate sensing of your entire body. Through practice and discipline, your attention can encompass and actively incorporate sensing amidst, amidst <laughs> your normal daily activities. But until you reach a certain strength and mastery, don't practice during activities that require your full attention, like driving. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned. I will continue to touch and build on all of today's themes. So if you are new, make sure to subscribe. If you like these ideas and if they, if they resonate with you, please share with anyone who you think may find them valuable. I appreciate you helping out my little YouTube channel. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.